Hi, welcome back to Brooks's Bass Corner. Today I'm going to be reviewing this Only Ball Music Man Stingray 5-string with a status graphite neck. But before I do, if you're enjoying the reviews and videos on the channel, please hit the subscribe button below, hit the notification bell so that you're notified when I release new videos, and please leave a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. If you have any questions regarding the bass or the review, leave them below and I'll come back to you as soon as I can. Enjoy the review. <laughs> Launched in the late 80s, the Music Man Stingray 5-string has become something of an industry standard in studios and on live stages around the world. Many a player has fallen foul of assuming that the 5-string version of the perennial favourite Stingray is merely the same instrument with an extra string. The tonal differences are striking to say the least, and finding your favourite Stingray 4-string tones is not as simple as dialing in your usual settings and away you go. The circuit is voiced differently while the three-way selector switch opens up different sounds and tones via coil switching and series and parallel operation. This example dates from the mid to late 1990s and was modified with the status graphite replacement neck sometime in the early 2000s. Complete with truss rod, this neck offers all the benefits of a graphite neck. Stable tuning, limited if any movement, improved resonance and harmonics, and a slightly more defined tone. Having owned this bass for 20 years this year, I can confirm that the neck has barely moved in those 20 years and only required a minor tweak of the truss rod when changing the string gauges about 15 years ago. Other than that, it has required no adjustments whatsoever. 
Tonally, the five string Stingray is filled to the brim with usable tones, no matter what musical style you play or which playing techniques you employ. Adaptable is its middle name. Its success has been built on its versatility, and with a seriously powerful EQ on tap, moving between the switching options demonstrates how varied the tonal palette is. Slap tones benefit from the parallel twin coil option in position 1, giving them plenty of clarity and bite, without the low mid accent that positions 2 and 3 offer. As with the 3 band EQ version of the 4 string model, the mid control here can have a great influence over the sounds and tones, so getting used to the EQ controls and their effectiveness and how they respond to each other is definitely worthwhile. Overuse the mid control and the effect of the bass and treble controls is subdued. Just remember that on a Stingray, any EQ adjustments go a long way. Despite weighing in at 4.4 kilograms, balance is not an issue on or off a strap, and the whole instrument bears all the hallmarks and attributes that a Music Man instrument is known for. As it was put to me once, the best production line bass bar none. Certainly the 5 string Stingray offers a lot of bang for your bucks, and anyone investing in one can be safe in the knowledge that they're purchasing a bass with staying power, capable of racking up plenty of miles on the clock. Reliability, flexibility, comfort and playability, it's all here. Some players tag status instruments and these replacement necks as being clinical, cold and unresponsive. Well, judge for yourself from the demos in this video, and if you do choose to replace your wooden Stingray neck, you may wonder why you didn't sooner after fitting one of these. If you enjoyed this review, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell so that you receive notifications when I post up new videos and please give the video a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. If you have any comments regarding the bass or the review, leave them below and I'll come back to you as soon as I can. Look forward to seeing you here again on Brooks's Bass Corner.